Hi Aries, welcome to your June general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Tell me take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in an Aries. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Aries and Crosswatchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Aries, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sample to clear and set the energy, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and tune into the energy of Aries. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what's going on in your love life in the month of June. What does spirit want to tell you about? What do you need to know in regards to the energy surrounding you in love and romance? Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with an Aries, what do you need to let Aries know about their love life? Spill the tea, spirit. Tell me about it. Ooh, I like this. Attraction. Okay, and it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there's something you're attracting in your life, Aries. Someone you're attracting in your life that has and feels a very strong pull to you. They can't resist you is kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, this is someone that loves your perfume or cologne. I don't know why Spirit wants me to let you know about that. Or maybe you've heard this person tell you that. But Aries, this is something that you have been manifesting, you've been pulling in, and the time is right here. I do feel as if, though, there's some sort of effortlessness that's coming from you. You're not trying anything, pushing anything. It's almost as if I'm sitting back and relaxing and seeing what's coming forward to me, what's happening for me. And being in that vibration is very sexy, very alluring. The letter T is sticking out to me, as in Tyler, as in Trisha. First, middle, last initial may mean something to someone. Someone could also be wearing green right now, um, or someone's favorite color is green. But let's dig further into this. What are you attracting? Who are you attracting? Tell me more. Tell me more about this energy here. The chaser, okay? Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So Aries, it's almost as if this person wasn't expecting you to kind of just, I don't know, if there was awkwardness, if there was silence, or even a separation, you kept doing your own thing. You didn't let them know that you were worried. You guys are just kind of focusing on yourself and your healing, and it's activated this person to come back into your life or chase after you. They realize you're not going to be the one to chase. Mm -mm. you're the one to replace if it has to come to it, right? So I don't know, Aries. I feel almost as if there was something you took a step back from. You wanted to see what they would do with it. And if they were worth it, they were going to try to do something about it. So I got to say that although this card may, you know, with the codependent or whatever, it feels more as if, Aries, that you're just living your best life, doing your own thing, flourishing, honestly. And I think this is playing out in a lot of different areas of your life, but specifically your love life, which is what we're reading for now. There's something that's instigating this person, pushing this person to do something about it. Someone likes to wear mini skirts. I don't know who that's for. It's obviously not for every, everyone. But uh, tell me, what is to come from this? What is the main theme of this? I don't know why I'm seeing someone taking shots. 
Um, you know, and I'm seeing a chaser too. This is someone you used to drink with or used to party with maybe that has more of an attraction for you than they were maybe aware of. But tell me more. Okay. So it says, dedicated effort, eight of pentacles, Virgo energy. Man, you've given them a clue, Aries, that this is not going to be so easy, especially you living your best life. You know you have options. You know you have your opportunities. So if they want to, you know, do something to stand out, they're going to have to put the work and the effort into it. But this is something that they see being with you for. This is something that has instigated them to work on this with you. And maybe it's just by going your separate ways or whatever had to happen for you to kind of send the message out there literally or maybe just energetically this is not going to be an easy route and again not in a way where you're stuck up and you're like you have to prove it to me no but in a way that's like we've been down this road before you know I'm I have done my healing, I've done my growth, and I expect you to meet me in the same alignment but that I've been working so hard to achieve. And with this dedicated effort here, I think you're going to see a lot more coming from them than you were even surprised by. They're going to be asking you out more, they're going to ask to take you out, they're going to pay for the bill, they want to treat you Aries. And this is their way of showing you that they still care, that they still want to work on this, that they want to grow on this. Someone could live by a building that has a mural. Um, just throwing that out there. So I'm excited to see how this is all going to unfold. Tell me about it with the tarot. They see themselves being with you, Aries, quite literally as depicted in this picture here. And maybe they haven't, you know, felt that way for someone in a very long time. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. So this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Something is becoming very real here. Something feels very real here. Someone may be offering you guys getting back together. Maybe they're offering to ask you out after a long time. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. I'm going to get all the cards out first and then we'll do a deep dive. But you will be given your due. <sighs> yeah. We have Death crowning this, Scorpio energy. It just keeps getting better and better as the cards unfold. Yeah, I love this. Okay. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. So with the Ten of Pentacles, this could have been someone you were in a relationship with previously. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, you could have met through family members specifically for some of you, like a cousin's friend, a sibling's friend. I also feel with the Ten of Pentacles, you could have met at the workplace, okay? But with this Ten of Pentacles, this is something that you are seeing that you want to have for yourself, and you're not settling for less. Someone that puts an equal effort, equal time, you want something serious, you want something long-lasting, you want someone that is like a ride-or-die type of partnership that will build something in the long term. And... For some reason, you guys weren't getting that this person was doing enough, as we see the Six of Pentacles being the challenge here. So you had to make it clear what it is that you're worth. You had to make it clear what it is that you want. And with the Ten of Pentacles at the background of this, this is something you were hoping that by separating, by pulling away, this was going to push them to lead the steps to getting the Ten of Pentacles. This is still on the back of your mind of what you want to have. And you're hoping this person will do the right thing to get it. The Ten of Pentacles is not an easy route. It is something that takes a lot of effort and dedication. But someone is starting to see that they can have it with you. So another thing with this Ten of Pentacles is that during this time of silent separation, there hasn't been someone that they felt like they could have the Ten of Pentacles with. That they've tried to move on to, tried to kind of start dating. It didn't add up to you, Aries, honestly, with this Ten of Pentacles. So that's where they're deciding to come back, come in, or try to make something work here. So at the center, this is the Ace of Pentacles, Earth energy. 
So I do feel someone putting the effort forward, taking the initiative to cement something here, to grow something here. And they're serious. They thought about this for a long time and they see this opportunity to go for it. They may view you in addition to the Knight of Wands, which we'll get to a little bit later, but they may view you as the one, the person I was meant to have my love and romance life dedicated to. They view you as something and someone to respect, to take seriously, to ground and make a reality here. So I do feel for some of you guys, this could be an offer of getting back together, of taking you out on date to fix things, to work on things. But they know what you two have is something solid. Maybe it took you pulling away for them to really get it. But there's no doubt in their mind now. What's crossing this, challenging this is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Taurus energy. So I think, you know, what made you kind of pull away and start to, you know, do your own thing was for the fact that there was lack, you may have felt, or things were out of balance. You may have felt like you were doing too much, they weren't doing enough. So they really started to notice when you were silent. They really started to notice when you weren't engaging as much, when you weren't trying to set up the dates and the events to hang out with them. They've taken note. And I feel with the Six of Pentacles too, um, there could have been something that was taking their attention for a bit of time. That's okay with you as long as they still balance and make you feel wanted and appreciated. But there was something that was kind of falling away in that. And maybe it was a work thing. But, you know, you still matter and you want them to know that. Despite, yeah, there could be stuff added to your plate. Certain situations could be happening in your work life and what you want to you know, move towards as far as maybe someone was wanting to save up for a house, someone was wanting to save up for a car. Um, and that could definitely have played an initiative in this. You felt it was very one-sided. And maybe there was other things that were distracting them from really having this with you. So they really had to make the choice and the decision to zero in, to focus, to give as much into this as you were giving Aries. What's crowning the reading is the death card, Scorpio energy. So for some of you, this is definitely telling me that something had to come to an end. Maybe you were the one to put this to an end. You stopped talking, you broke up, you separated. And this was a major waking and turning point for them. Maybe there was a real threat here that not only would this just be a period of separation or a break between the two of you, but this could be a serious ending that there's no going back from. So this is kind of what has made them push themselves to start to chase, to start to come after this. They didn't want this to end with you, Aries, quite simply. And they felt it was very, very close to ending. And like I said, even if there was a breakup, there's something that didn't feel very final about it, but this has been haunting them and knowing that this could very easily happen. And the more time they just let you keep doing your own thing, shining, flourishing, the more you would start to move away from this or accept that nothing was going to happen between the two of you while they were still very, very stuck. I'm saying that because this woman quite literally is at a graveyard visiting a tombstone so, you know, there was memories of you, reminiscence of you. So they're trying to pull Lazarus here. They're trying to respark what may have possibly ended or died out. But they don't feel like it's the end and they don't want it to be the end. What's rooting this is the chariot. Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy for me as a reader. Uh, they know the ball is in their court. If they were the ones that was giving, you know, not as much into this, they know that they have to be the ones to make the initiative. They have to be proactive and they have to be certain. They have to approach you correctly, quite honestly. 
That's the vibe you're giving out. That's the sense you're giving out. And they're smart enough to pick up on that. And with the chariot rooting this too, similar to Knight of Swords energy, but there's a sense of urgency here. And maybe it's because they see that you're moving on or that they're afraid you're moving on in some sort of sense. With the chariot rooting this, there could be, uh, you know, a short distance between the two of you. You could live within the same city, only five, ten minutes away from each other. They may have, you know, driven by your house a couple times to see if you're there, what you're up to, what you're doing. Not in a creepy way, but in a way that just, again, there's something that they want to return to you, thinking about you that I was kind of describing visiting the tombstone in the death card. They feel like they have to come back. They want to come back. And again, this decision has been made. And I feel with this chariot too, there could be someone who is a veteran who travels a lot for work and they may be deciding to cut back a bit so they can be more serious with you, Aries. But yeah, they're moving forward here. The path is clear for them. They just have to now... Take the steering wheel and make it happen. Because I know you're kind of in this place where you're not chasing. How you're coming forward in this, how they may see you, is the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. You could have Sagittarius rising or Sagittarius moon. But with this energy, Aries, you're a go-getter. You just don't have time to waste you are excited about a lot that's happening in your life. You're wanting to pursue new things in your life, new hobbies, uh, new jobs, perhaps. You're open to meeting people, if that is what is meant to happen. And with the Knight of Wands, there's something very attractive about you, very sexy about you, confident about you. And people have been noticing and maybe with this Knight of Wands, you know, whether they follow you on social media or hear about this through certain people, they may know you're experimenting elsewhere. Maybe you've been seen on a couple dates or seen flirting with other people, posting, you know, locations at being, partying, hanging out with certain people that they think is a threat. So they know you're on to the newer and the better. They know that you're moving on to new things in your life, but they want to be in that movement with you. Someone likes to wear polo shirts, Ralph Lauren polo shirts type of thing. Um, but anyway, how they feel in this, how they're coming forward in this, or maybe how you see them is the Ace of Cups. Okay, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Their heart is with you, Aries. This is the beginning of them really starting to feel comfortable and certain of their feelings for you. Now there's two aces here. Your birthday could be April 1st, April 11th, perhaps March 21st for some of you guys. But with this Ace of Cups, they're letting their feelings in their heart finally dictate what must be done more than their fears or anxieties, more than, you know, anything else that may have been a distraction. They are going to put their heart out on a sleeve for you, Aries, and maybe some of you are already starting to see that. If they have come back, they're coming back for a very good reason. They want the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups with you. I gotta say, for some of you guys, they view you as the person they've truly fallen in love with, maybe their first love. And with the Ace of Cups too, this is someone they've this is someone who's never felt this way about anyone else before. This strongly, this deeply, this emotionally for. And they could be emotional people, Aries, especially if they do have strong water in their chart or if they are a water sign. But I think despite what easily stress them out, what easily gets, you know, put on their plate, they're choosing you and choosing their love for you in making this come back, in making this return, in chasing you. 
And I feel this is for the right reasons. Even if things fell apart before for the wrong reasons, everything's coming together in this time for this to happen in this way because they are vibrating out of a place of love, true love for you. Someone could also have like a feather tattoo or wings for tattoos. You are this person. Someone could live by a fountain, whether that's a fountain in a park, a fountain in front of like a business complex or anything like that. But the love they have for you is very overflowing, very deep, and very, very real. All right, Aries. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold between the two of you from now till the end of the month, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Anything else that you need to know about what's likely to happen and unfold, pull some oracle cards, tarot cards, dive deeper into this situation. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Aries, I really hope this reading resonated with you. I hope it provided you with confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to what's going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.